So we have now a fancier looking uh, texture. This is without the covers. Uh, you can see at each of the four uh, edges there's a handle. Maybe, uh, perhaps not all of the handles will actually fly, but uh, we do have provisions for it on all four corners. Um, good excuse for incomplete. That's actually a hole in the spacecraft. Uh, that's because here in, in the United States, we will assemble everything that we have. It then ships to Russia, and the Kursk State Temple University will then install their experiment prior to it going to the space station. And I've tested the transponder myself with both FM and SSB. The, the transponder is 16 kilohertz wide. So you can fit probably three SSB signals. If, you, if everybody was really good, you could fit like five. But <laughs> we know better, right? But you can maybe fit three SSB signals. But it's actually wide enough to do FM. So whether, the, whether that'll be recommended or not, I don't know. But the uh, transponder is wide enough to do FM with an HT and an arrow. So I'm kind of hoping we can do that because I don't use that wrong. How embarrassing. Oh, look at that. And here we have some of the hardware from Castor satellite. This is the power control module, and that is the ARM7 CPU module. A little further over, the three boards behind the CubeSat are hardware from the Pollux payload satellite. And then we have another one of our radio beacon transmitters in the pink plastic bag there. But uh, one of the other things Martin has been instrumental in doing is, is helping bring the ham radio uh, satellites into the National Air and Space Museum. And when, when we were out um, at the Hazi Center last time we got together in the Washington area, which was in 2005, many of you got to see um, Martin's outstanding work in making that happen. So uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let me uh, introduce um, Martin Collins and let him uh, give a wonderful talk tonight. Thank you, Martin. Okay, uh, perfect. Uh, I'll try to live up to that billing. Thank you. Uh, this is a tough gig to start over chocolate cake, I know. Um, and it's even tougher because when I went to the University of Michigan as an undergraduate, I started out in engineering school. Uh, and it was taking an electrical engineering course uh, in which I was clearly going to flunk and I ended up withdrawing from it. That took me out of engineering and I ended up getting a, a, a degree in chemistry but then decided uh, when I went to graduate school that the humanities were really my thing. So uh, I come before you humble uh, in, your, in, your, in your specialty. Uh, just out of curiosity, we'll do a little demography here. Uh, how many of you are in your work lives connected to the aerospace field, either working for government or industry? All right, so a fair number. Uh, what I wanted to do, but can we can start off the slide? Oh, look at that beautiful. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, I, I wanted to, to start out with Lance Jenner uh, holding Oscar one.